Hey everyone, it's Cody Lake here from the Throwing Bows podcast. And with BTC 16 this Saturday, I have to tell you about a marquee matchup you don't want to miss. Cody Kavanchek versus Jacob Rowe is not only just the main event for this weekend, but it's one of the most important matchups that we're going to see in the featherweight division all year long. This fight comes after a huge call out made by Cody after his performance in London, where he scored a first round rear naked choke win. Now, Saturday night, both men will put their perfect 2-0 professional records on the line. So why don't we dig a little bit deeper? Starting with Jake Govreau, man, the grappling on this kid is just insane. His transitions, his submissions, uh, the, the IQ whenever the fight hits the mat, he, he is insane. It almost makes you forget that he does have power in his hands too, just how good his grappling is. 2-0, both submission wins. And he deserves to be where he is this weekend. He deserves to be fighting in the main event. He's had two terrific fights, two terrific performances. He had a third round submission win in his professional debut. A little bit of adversity, but it showed that he knows how to be in a fight. He knows that he can keep going, which is really important in my eyes. He followed that up with a fantastic submission win at BTC 14, which only took him a couple minutes and one takedown to secure the victory. And by this, you'd think, wow, this guy's just a grappler. No, he actually has power in his hands, too. Don't forget, he had a knockdown in his first professional fight, and his second one, it didn't last long enough for to really see how his striking has advanced. He's only 20 years old, and the sky seems to be the limit for Jake, honestly. The one thing I would say is sometimes he gets a little bit aggressive in his transitions. He loses position sometimes, but that's there's so little tape on this guy that we really don't know exactly what we're going to get from him. He obviously we we would assume he's going to want to take this fight to the ground. It would make sense. Uh, he's got two submission wins already, so why not get a third one and a win and a submission win at that over a guy who trains at a team like Niagara Top Team, known for their grappling and their wrestling. It would really boost him up. Now on to Cody Kavanchek, who's pretty much dominated the competition at the pro level. After five amateur fights, he has now gone perfect 2-0 and at pro and finished both of his opponents with relative ease. I believe Cody will have the striking advantage as his leg kicks and his right hand are both super powerful and super accurate. But he has made it known that he's okay if this fight hits the ground which makes it interesting. Will he be able to stop the takedowns of Jake or even shoot his own takedown? We know Niagara top teams known for the wrestling and who's to say that Cody couldn't secure his own takedown like he has in his first two professional fights and dole out some real punishment on the ground of his own. Jake's going to have to be aware that Cody doesn't just start sitting on top in full guard or half guard and start working his strikes because he could be in some serious danger. Both men are true mixed martial artists and should feel comfortable no matter where the fight takes place. I do believe whoever can move forward and keep their opponent on the back foot should be able to get the better of the exchanges on the feet. And if Jake or Cody wants to shoot a takedown, it should become easier to secure those whenever they're the ones moving forward, possibly backing their opponent up to the cage to get them. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. You don't want to miss this card, this main event the entire night. It's going to be spectacular. Burlington, Ontario, July 9th, BTC 16 Challenger Series 1.